Hello and welcome. In this short video, we'll walk through making your app hosted at Heroku to work with your custom domain. Right now, you're accessing your production app by going to your app name dot com. Okay, so we want to have this uh, as your custom domain. How do we do that? So step one is to get a domain and um, for that, you can go to godaddy.com or any other domain site. I went to GoDaddy and purchased a domain. And then once you do that, you can go into your domain, then click on Manage, then DNS zone file, then scroll down under C name here, where it says www this record will probably show an at sign over here. So click on edit and here enter in the name of your app as it stands at Heroku. So my one is myrecipesrails.herokuapp.com. Okay? And that's all you need to do at GoDaddy. All right? So it'll be the www and then points to the name of your app at Heroku app.com. Okay? And then Go to your um, go to your app in the C9 environment. Make sure you're in the Workspace app or whatever you named your Rails application, okay? And then type in Heroku space domains colon add space and the name of your domain. So the domain I had was matacode.com. So I put in www.matacode.com, okay? So again, it's Heroku space domains colon add space www.yourdomainname.com and then you will get something like this adding www.yourdomainname.com to your web app name and that's it. Um, usually takes a few minutes but um, sometimes can be really fast, sometimes could be an hour but once that's done you can go and over here, instead of typing in the Heroku app name, if I just type in www.matacode.com, there you go, the app shows up. Now if I go to view the recipes, notice how it's matacode.com recipes. Okay, great, that's it. That's all it takes to make your web app work with your custom domain. Hope you enjoyed this short video. Now go have fun with it.